Numbness, tingling, burning pain in the hands and feet, those are signs of neuropathy or nerve pain. There are many causes, but no surefire cures. As our Living with Pain series continues, ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould talks with a UAB expert about the chronic pain that comes with neuropathy. Eight-year-old Henrietta of Trustville has a rare genetic disorder and with it a case of neuropathy. She'll say it almost feels like needles and knobs are coming out of her legs. It makes dance classes, walking, and reading Braille for her vision issues tough. She's on experimental treatment at Philadelphia's Children's Hospital. Something called a mito cocktail and it's a mixture of special um, vitamins and supplements, and it's not actually FDA approved. Alan Sibley, a diabetic, has a less severe case of neuropathy. My toes feel numb all the time. I take a pill at night to keep um, pains out of it. Experts say there are many causes, diabetes number one, also trauma, inflammation, cancer, a vitamin deficiency. A fifth of the cases have no known cause. The most common con uh, concern with patients who have peripheral nerve disease or peripheral neuropathy is the development of chronic pain. Medications, drug therapies are limited. But many of them treat the brain's perception of the abnormal nerve signal. They don't actually treat the nerve disease itself. UAB neurologist Dr. Bogu says treatment starts with a thorough assessment. So it's really important that individuals get the right kind of testing in the specialist center to figure out exactly what's going on. In some cases, if they can get to the cause, such as a vitamin deficiency, doctors can reverse the condition, or you can get your diabetes under control, but you do have to be patient. We recognize that we don't have great treatments, but many of these are involved trial and error. So it's really imperative for the patient to be patient, of course, with the fact that we don't have a single one drug fits all, but there are cases where you may have, you know, almost like a home run situation where you try something, patient says, well, you know what, um, receive significant benefits. With 20 to 30 million people in the U.S. suffering from peripheral neuropathy, research remains critical. The only way to really help is to be a part of the research and the solution. Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.